What's up, family? Let's get into it. Let's get involved. Trying to figure out what I want to talk about today. You know, I haven't been on here, you know, sometimes I take a little rest, you know, sometimes it's good to take a rest off of social media. I want to talk about gender. Is the men winning or the, or the, is the males winning? The melanated males or the females, is they winning or what? I mean, to me, it doesn't make a difference simply because it's a lot of dysfunctional. Dysfunctional uh, problems that's taking place in the Negro sector. Well, as we know, we got a lot of people that got mental illness. A lot of people that have, a lot of people that have, uh, a lot of problems, bipolar, schizophrenic, delusional, multiple personality, you know, multiple personality disorders and stuff like that. And they take to social media to, you know, to uh, express their they feelings, if you will. But they feelings, some of them feelings are diagnosed as, the diagnosis of some of those feelings are mental illnesses, you know. I hate to say it, but it is. My thing is, how are we going to circumvent this? How are we going to come to a solution to the problems that we have with some of these content creators that bring this, that spew this, this dialogue? First of all, the men got to be men again. What I, you know, what I mean by that? What do I mean by that? Is men are being attacked black men let's put it like this it let's put it like this men that's in that category all men a man got a lot of things he have to do to become a full-fledged man and my take is on this don't feel ashamed and don't feel like you ain't meeting the mock all you have to do is focus on yourself gentlemen then go out there and go find you a significant other. I always tell you, these things that I tell you, you have to digest mentally. You know, you must get your house in order, uh, fam. You must get yourself in order first, fam. I'm talking to the brothers of all colors. Don't blame it on the female. I, I, I can't admit, you do got some salty chicks out here. You do got some salty women out here. I can't admit that. But you got to realize, they come from dysfunctional upbringing, okay? So by you getting on social media, spilling out your hate, because you've been through situations with women that you came across, and they hurt you mentally, spiritually, and physically, it doesn't make it even better. It doesn't make it better, man. Because the whole world, far as melanated brothers, I mean, this goes across the board. This goes to white, black, you know, whatever the case may be. Because white folks have problems, you know, white folks have problems within their families, too. You know, Indians, Africans, you know, you know, Italians, Egyptians. I mean, the whole race, you know. The whole, the whole, all nationalities. Whether it be religious dysfunction, whether it be marital, marital dysfunctions, whatever the case may be. You know, and we had to see this as a major problem. It's an academic, academic proportion, man. It's, it's an academic, academic proportions, you know. And um, I must bring this upon y'all simply because... It's a thing we need to ponder on and try to get over the issues of it all, you know. We don't have to live in this mess, family. We don't have to to go on this process of life. How long how long we been engaging with this gender war stuff on this platform? How long? It's been a while. It's been more than one year, I tell you that. 
in order for us to see and love each other as as male and female we got to add the most high in. See, y'all missing a big picture here. Is it any ethics? If it, is it any morals? Is it any codes? No. See, when you see when that's not instituted in it, it's 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 going to fail. It fell from the start. You know what I'm saying? It's going to fail. Eventually, it's going to crumble. See, when you subtract the most high, when you when you subtract the most high, when you take the religious context out of relationships as far as male and female destruction is right around the corner family and this is the due process we have on the internet you see and that's a, and that's a major problem when it comes the reason why I'm speaking upon this because a lot of brothers speaking on this they keep bringing up these videos about who won the gender war no one won it's all losers all bets are off. It's all losers. And some people want to keep on encouraging. See, that's what the devil does. See, it's confusion. See, these movements are confusions. It conf they, they conf it's confusion. And, it's, and it starts up, it's division. It starts division. And it's a major distraction. We don't need this in our families. In 2017, family, we don't need this in our melanated families. It's bad enough we still have single parent homes. It's bad enough these inmates can't make a smooth transition back into regular society and they've done their time. Now it's time for them to get on with their life. They that they done their time, they done the crime, they paid their time to to you know, they paid their debts all. Now it's time for them the rekindle the flame with their families if they can if their families and their loved ones will accept them back but if they're not getting the proper training before they leave these institutions of peanut of the penile system if they're not getting trained up-to-date technology and stuff like that to prepare them for back out into regular society they're gonna go right back in it's a revolving door see these are the issues we need to talk about the the returning inmates that done 25 year bids 30 40 almost half of their life bids you know what i'm saying they come home their children is grown their children going on with their life that's how long they've been in jail because they went in there as a juvenile almost a young adult in their 20s and stuff like that see there's a lot of problems we have to talk upon and by us engaging in that activity of 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 gender wars is not helping. Okay, I'm going on to the next video. I'm gonna cut this in half. Catch me on the next one.